Hello and welcome to my fist only no bunker seal covenant of champions boss run. And this is part three, like this is the real part three, and we'll be fighting Orstein. And well, it's called Old Dragon Slayer, but for the people who play Dark Souls One, uh, we know it. His name is Ornstein. You see the real Ornstein. You see the Ornstein from part one or is he, is he this one the real Ornstein and we fought uh, an image uh, a fantasy of, of the dragon slayer well this is left for you to think like many other topics in Dark Souls 2 which is which I think is the best aspect of the story in both games that you have to maybe uh, it's like a puzzle that you have to to see you have to you first you have to uncover the the secrets read read items talk to people the, the very few people who are alive who also may be talking riddles and stuff like that which is kind of annoying sometimes but that's okay and you you have to construct uh, your own story or what you think the story is uh, for people who who say that dark souls and dark souls 2 don't have a story they are kind of wrong they do have a story and it's a good one but as it's not told in a conventional manner like various characters straight out tell you what's going on uh, some people don't like that some people don't like open open-ended stuff which I will call Dragon, Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 open-ended in, in regards of, of almost of almost every topic or situational and the endings as well and the story is more closed by the DLCs and this is an interesting topic I, I, I will be talking about the story of of the DLCs when I get onto the bosses of the DLCs but let's start with something uh, that it was uh, how can I say it? It, it, it was... Uh, I asked for an opinion to a fellow producer named Big Benedict. Now, he has a challenge, he has a channel full of challenge runs on various games, uh, full with commentary. It's an awesome challenge and I will be leaving it in my description, even if I have uh, very little subscribers uh, in comparison to him. I could not mention him uh, without leaving a link to his channel and check it out because he's awesome he has great commentary and engaging gameplays so uh, yeah check it out he he left me in a, some kind words which I really appreciate and he left me with uh, two two things to improve one was uh, the volume of of my of my of my microphone of my of my way of speaking into the microphone which was something to improve and second it was a really good point with that is I, I didn't explain Dark Souls to the beginner. I mean and I didn't I didn't do that in, in, not even in the text in my Soul Level One Champions um Covenant of Champions run because many of my subscribers uh, I think I think they don't maybe they don't play or they don't know the game and, and, and I haven't really explained it. Uh, many of my views came from Steam as well I mean both part my subscriber part Steam and I want to uh, take the chance to say thank you to the subscribers that watch my videos and thank you to the viewers who may or may not subscribe and that's fine but take the time to watch my videos and yes one of the things is explaining the game so I'm going to do that now uh, Dark Souls 2 is a uh, action RPG in third person and uh, but let's, 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 let's take this piece by piece uh, RPG, the RPG element of Dark Souls is literally the stats. For, 
for example, you have uh, bigger endurance, adaptability, s strength, dexterity. Uh, I'm gonna maybe forget a few. Um, faith, which which is only for miracles. Miracles are a, a kind of magic in the game. Int that is used mainly for sorceries. That is another kind of magic, and also for the casting speed of those sorceries. And some uh, like vitality, which is used for uh, weight of the, your armor and your weapons to reduce it. And many rings you can e you can equip you, you can equip rings. You can equip weapons. There are, are a wide variety of weapons to suit your tastes. And you can equip armor. And you got to find a balance, I would say. Uh, a weapon that you like, that you like the moveset of that weapon, and an armor that if, if you're fashionable, maybe you'll like some armors better than others, and or if you like the best defense, maybe you'll become a Havel monster, like m fans of the Dark Souls know him by that, by that name. But uh, whatever you choose, uh, the RPG aspect is basically the stats. So the action, thir the third person action part, is kind of a controller tight thing. I mean, I wouldn't say it's kind of laugh at Devil May Cry because, as you can see, it's not. It's it's a timing thing. Uh, the game is very punishing. Uh, it's not. I, I will not call it hard though hard is a subjective matter but I will not call it hard per se I mean I, I know that for many people things that Dark Souls is is a hard game and it is it, harder than the average game I mean if you're going to take an example like Call of Duty or normal or, or you know mainstream games played on normal then yes if you come from this expertise so to speak and you want to play a Dark Souls then you realize that there is no difficulty uh, because the game is already set on hard but not hard in the way that it's gonna be unfair it's gonna be fair hard it's gonna be a hard game that you will have to put your hours into to get the dodges right you also have shields but the hits in your shields drain your stamina so stamina management is a big big part of the of the action here as you see the red bar that goes up and down is my stamina and I basically have to manage that through the entire run uh, more so in the soul level 1 which I have uh, lower stamina that can that and the red bar are of course my, my HP and uh, the little tree that you see on the on the left of the health is the Covenant of Champions. That is, it's not really a tree. It's like a beacon, or a kind of like a beacon. I, I don't really, I can't really get, I can't really tell. And we are here. Uh, I'm using healing wares. Those are a little healing wares that you can use to. And Dark Souls 2 uh, is more. It's, I wouldn't say harder than than Dark Souls 1, but it has twice at least twice or third time the bosses and it has some weird hitboxes that you might find kinda harder to evade like I could tell you like in Dark Souls 1 once you know an enemy or boss moveset you can evade it 100% and receive no damage and that's a reality but in Dark Souls 2 Many bosses have weird uh, hitboxes, and this gives it. Uh, for example, if you want to do a no damage run, this kind of this is going to frustrate frustrate you because as as much as you want to, as much as you want to evade all the moves, you may roll in a certain way, where the the boss will not hit you and then you roll the, in the exact same way and the boss will hit you so in that regard it's a little finicky it's a little weird but uh, going out from that it, it, I could say the same thing about Dark Souls mostly 
I mean, once uh, you get the boss moves right and the enemies, the normal enemies, because believe me, the bosses are not going to kill you that much. It's the channel levels and monster design that's going to kill you. Uh, certain bosses will kill you more than others, uh, that's for sure. And uh, that's basically the game. If you if you like what I've said and you kind of don't rage and you you have you are a a man or woman of patience uh, and you get what an iframe is like uh, as you will see I'm using the iframes of my role to evade all of his attacks as you will jump in a devil may cry or as you will uh, uh, what, what what other games as, as iframes well, uh, as you will use the iframes of a special attack or or or, or something to get iframes from any, from any game. So yeah, that's Dark Souls, and this is something, and we'll see each other in video four. And thank th thank you for watching, guys. Take care.